everybody, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. Today, I am going to be giving you guys some tips. I'm going to give you some knowledge and advice on how to go vegan. If you guys are interested in going vegan, if you're thinking about it, then this might be helpful to you guys. By the way, do you like my dress? I bought this like years ago when I was, I think, in Cambodia or Vietnam. I love it. It's so comfortable. Throughout the video, I'm going to also be unboxing this lovely vegan starter kit from Thrive Market. Well, I'm hoping it's lovely, but I haven't unboxed it yet, so I don't actually know what's inside. So we're going to experience it together. Yes. So if you guys don't know, I am a brand ambassador for Thrive Market, and they are very kindly sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Thrive Market, they're an online wholesale retail... The, 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 online wholesale retailer. That is a tongue twister. Online wholesale retailer, and they specialize in organic and natural food items. So you pay an annual membership fee of $60, and you can get access to these very, very affordable prices. Today, actually, they're giving you guys a 30-day trial plus 25% off your first order, which is awesome because their prices are already reduced, so you get an extra 25% off. Plus, you can try this service out for free, so definitely check them out if you are in the U.S. Unfortunately, it is only a U.S. service for now. Hopefully, they will expand to other places like Canada, hopefully one day. Yes. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, thrive, come on. So I'm gonna give you guys tips while I'm unboxing and we're just gonna kind of chat. It's gonna be a pretty relaxed video, so let's get started. Woo! Here we go, I'm very excited. I literally don't know what's inside. Ooh, there's so much. Okay, let's show you the first item. This is like Christmas. Ooh, yes. First item is this organic coconut oil. This is virgin coconut oil from Thrive Market. I love coconut oil. I mainly use it for actually beauty purposes. I use it every single day to remove my makeup, guys. I do not need any makeup remover because coconut oil does wonders. I actually have a video where I talk about coconut oil and all of the great things about coconut oil. I'll link that down below. Coconut oil, yay! Okay, so tip number one would be to go at your own pace. I've talked about this before. I think it's so important to not feel pressured to do something or do something too quickly. Going at your own pace and just kind of figuring things out as you go in my opinion is the best way to do it if you feel like you can go vegan overnight then absolutely but if you feel that you need more time then you need to go at your own pace very very important I did not go vegan overnight so I was three years pescatarian but I was buying cruelty free I wasn't going to the zoo all of that stuff eventually I gave up fish and then I became vegan in 2014 so it's been almost four years wow four years Next product, ooh. Okay, so we've got sprouted brown rice, which is apparently more healthy. Organic sprouted brown rice, definitely essential. Tip number two is to set goals and boundaries. Now, this might sound slightly contradictory to what I last said, which is going at your own pace, but I do think it's really important to set boundaries and goals for yourself. For example, if you say something like, I'm gonna try to cut down on my meat consumption, that pretty much means nothing. Let's be real, guys. It's kind of like saying, I'm going to try to exercise more. What does that mean? It's extremely vague and it's just not clear cut enough. And our human psychology will not allow us to reach our full potential when we say things like, I'm going to eat healthier. You'll find that it's so much easier to actually follow through with your plans of going vegan when you actually have a plan. Even though it took me a very long time to actually become fully vegan, I still set pretty clear-cut goals for myself, or not goals, but like clear-cut boundaries for myself. Initially, I said no more meat, and that was it. And then I was still eating other animal products, but I said no more meat, that was the first thing. And then afterwards, it was like no more dairy, no more eggs. But I was holding on to the whole fish thing for a very long time. Again, it's a very psychological thing. And then eventually I was like, okay, no more fish. And it was so much easier than I had imagined. So I think when you say like, I'm gonna cut down on fish, or I'm gonna cut down on meat, cut down on dairy, it still creates that idea in your head that you can still go out and get it. It's not allowing you to fully let it go, if that makes sense. Just kind of taking those steps, but having clear-cut boundaries, I think that's really, really important. All right, next product. What in the world? Kelp noodles. Oh my God, this is supposed to be like really healthy. I don't think I've actually tried proper kelp noodles. 
this should be interesting i don't know i've never actually tried it but pretty cool kelp noodles kelp is actually really really healthy for you it's hot in here guys don't mind if i sway it Tip number three is to find a community or multiple communities. Humans are very social creatures and I do think that this is one of the reasons why it's so difficult for most people to go vegan because of the social aspect. And social isolation is probably one of the worst things that people could experience. And I'll go as far as say that we are actually more social than we are moral or ethical creatures. We are more likely to do things that are immoral but will still allow us to remain within our social circle or remain within social boundaries rather than do something that is more ethical or moral but will take you out of your social uh, environment. There are so many online communities I don't even know where to start. There's Facebook groups, Reddit, there's apps like Vegan Amino. I've talked about that before in a different video. I mean, there's just a lot of groups and social communities you can follow, even in your community, in your actual geographic location, which I would also recommend. I think that's even better than just online. So finding a community is so important. Next, ooh, we got some plantain chips, my friends. Ooh, you know what, I might need to, have some. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's not very sweet, but it's like super savory. Mmm. It's actually so good. Oh my god. I thought it would taste like banana chips, but it tastes nothing like banana chips. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tip number four do your research there are so many sources out there there are documentaries there are studies there are books even simply just things like what you can eat as a vegan what kind of vitamins you need to take as a vegan it is just so much easier when you kind of go in with a little bit of knowledge okay next product oh my god i got two of these actually Ooh, yes i don't think i've tried this flavor but this is jackfruit this is like flavored jackfruit, like marinated jackfruit. If you guys don't know, if you're new to vegan life, it kind of has like that pulled pork texture. It's like pulled jackfruit. This is the chili lime carnitas flavor. Sorry, I probably butchered that, but you can put this in sandwiches, salads, tacos over rice. Yes, girl. Tip number five, replace your animal-based proteins and fats with plant-based proteins and fats. I can't stress this enough. I talk about this like all the time. Plant-based products are pretty high in carbs. Animal products tend to be a little bit higher in protein and fat for the most part. Add in some avocados, you know, some seeds and nuts. Add in some beans, some tofu, even plant-based meats if you want to. So many different options out there for you. Just remember that many animal products tend to be calorie dense and higher in protein and fat. And of course, higher in other things like cholesterol. Okay, so I'm not saying good things about animal products, okay. But what I'm saying is, if you find yourself hungry, you need to think about these kind of things, you know, because protein and fat tend to keep you satiated for a longer period of time. So if you're following a super high carb diet, then you might feel more hungry, uh, even though you're eating a lot of calories. So think about that. These are things that you can think about as you go. Ooh, as I was saying about protein, here is a package of pinto beans. This is an awesome way to package beans. I never really bought beans like this. I usually get it in cans, but this would be really good if you're like traveling on the road or something. Beans are incredibly healthy for you, like legumes. I think beans are part of legume family, right? I should probably know these, oh, okay. Beans are just an amazing source of protein and so many other nutrients. There's so many things you could do with beans, okay? If you look at bean recipes, literally, you will probably find millions of recipes. These are pinto beans, but there are many, many, many different kinds of beans available. Tip number six, find a few go-to vegan recipes that you love and that are easy to make. Maybe you like to have fun, you like to make lots of different recipes, but there are many, many days when you probably just want to have a very quick meal and call it a night, call it a day. So if you have a few, maybe like five go-to meals that you can always count on, that you kind of know in your head, or maybe you wanna write it down in your phone or in your kitchen or something, then it's so much easier because then you don't feel overwhelmed all the time thinking about what should I eat, what could I eat? It takes the guessing game out. So it's just, it's just so much easier. 
So I have tons of recipes that are super, super easy. You can check out my videos for some go-to meal ideas. All right, oh my gosh, guys, this one is really exciting because I have never, never seen this before. This is instant coconut milk powder. <gasps> so I assume this is for like, coffee? What do you do with these? Okay, so you add water. Oh my God, this is so cool. You add water and it becomes coconut milk. You learn something new every day. I did not know this product was a thing. So instead of getting like a can of coconut milk, you could get coconut milk powder and you could just add water and it becomes coconut milk. <gasps> Amazing for traveling. This would be such a good thing to have, especially if you're doing air travel. Hello. Tip number seven is to have fun. Yay, woohoo. Here's the thing. People, sometimes we take life a little bit too seriously, you know what I'm saying? So we need to have some fun, okay? We need to try out new things. I feel like one of the best things about life is trying out new things. So take this as a blessing. Take your vegan journey as a blessing and allow yourself to try new things. Try out different vegan recipes. You'd be so surprised at how many things you could make as a vegan. Initially when I went vegan, I had this phase where I was just baking stuff all the time and I was just trying out so many different vegan sweets and desserts and it was so much fun. Every time I travel somewhere, I like to try out all the vegan restaurants. I like to try out the vegan restaurants in my area. You can try out different cool products like this. This is your opportunity, people, to go out and try out new things. Next. Ooh, guys, okay. This is gonna be good. This is vegan jerky. If you saw my last Thrive Market video, I am actually trying out tons of like vegan snacks from Thrive Market, which are awesome by the way. I'll leave the link to that video down below. And this brand of vegan jerky, I think I got a different flavor, but this one is smoked black pepper. This brand of vegan jerky guys is so good. You know what? I'm just gonna try it here too. I'm not like a fan of jerky. I've never been a big fan of jerky, but this jerky, I don't know, maybe because it's plant-based, but it is good. It's just so good. It has a very meaty texture. Whew. Tastes like jerky. If you miss jerky, there's another thing of pinto beans. This is a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I need to give a tip. Okay. Tip number eight is to prep your meals. Prep your food, prep your meals, get things prepared. As they say, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Especially if you live in a city where vegan food, vegan restaurants, vegan options are just not as readily available, it's so good to actually have some meals prepared so that when you go to work or when you go to school, you have something to eat. It will make your life so much easier. So you could do like a four day meal prep. So you can make enough food for four days. You could even do an entire week and keep food in the freezer so that when you are going to work, you just take it out of the freezer and then you just heat it up when you get to work. It is seriously a money saver. It's a time saver for the future. For example, I just did a meal prep video where I attempted to make seven days worth of food in just an hour. You can literally make enough food for an entire week and spend like I don't know one to two hours making the food meal prep guys meal prep next product it's in this packaging I'm not sure what it is very mysterious <laughs> I know what this is oh wait I don't <gasps> it's a different brand okay so this is vegan tuna <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things you could have fun with, trying out weird vegan things like vegan tuna. Uh, I did try out a can of vegan tuna, I think last year or something like that. And it was, oh, how do I put this delicately, nasty, okay. I mean, okay, it wasn't nasty, but it just wasn't like, I mean, it did not taste like tuna, you know what I'm saying? It was not good. So I'm not sure how this is gonna taste, but who knows? This is black pepper tuna. I'll try this out. Do I have any more tips? I think that's it for my tips. Oh wait. Tip number nine is to follow Cheap Lazy Vegan on all social medias, including YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also my Instagram, at Cheap Lazy Vegan. I have some free publication. This is For a Better World. Cool. Just a little bit of information. So the last product is this Seitan Original, Pacific Seitan Original. So if you guys don't know, Seitan is basically like 
wheat meat. If you have like fake meats, many times it's either made of soy or seitan. You can actually make your own seitan too, or you can buy seitan, uh, for example, like this. And then you use it in the same way that you would use meat, like put it in like a stir fry or like sandwiches. I don't know, just add it into whatever meals. But yeah, this is like something really nice to have if you are wondering like what you could substitute for meat. So that's it guys, I am schwitzen. Okay, people, I'm sweating. I think we're done. Whew. So that is it, my friends, for my tips and also my unboxing of this vegan starter kit, which is very exciting. I want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned before, they've got tons and tons and tons of vegan products. This is just the tip of the iceberg, my friends. Take advantage of the deal, 25% off and free trial. If you guys are new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more tips to share with our future vegans, definitely leave them down below. And as always, thank you guys so much, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!